So I'm here with Maureen Crowell from Crestwood High. Hello. Thank you. Thanks for letting us come here. Very welcome. So uh, just, can you just quickly say maybe what's your role within Crestwood High? Okay, I'm a teacher in the support unit um, and I tend to work a lot with post school options and preparing senior students for life after school. Yep. Okay. So we sort of like approached you a bit for to come and sort of do a workshop with your students. Um, and you were very strong like strong for it. So what like what's the reason that like you thought that would be a benefit for us to come facilitate? Okay, so with the support unit it um the students are quite isolated when they're looking at post-school options and I thought it would be of great value for them to meet with you knowing your outgoing personality um, and with Peter so that they could have examples of what life is like after school that it doesn't all of a sudden stop there's a lot of um, things out there for them, but they just have to know how to access and to believe that you know they can keep pushing till they find something that they're really happy doing. Mm. Mm. Definitely. And what what did you say the benefits of the workshop? The greatest benefit to me was I, I was quite surprised how every student was engaged in, in the program. Um, students who normally are very quiet and not very outgoing in volunteering information or answering questions. But every student in both senior and junior groups were very receptive. Um, I think it was very non-threatening and they were talking to um, yourself, Peter and Sarah and the other members of your group um, that understood disability and um, it was just a very positive atmosphere. What since since we've left, have you have you noticed any like significant change within whether it be as as unit as a whole or some individuals? Look, I think um, individually it gave uh, a lot of students, especially senior students, years ten to twelve. Um, confidence in knowing um, they weren't just going to leave school and have no say about where they were going to spend time. So I think individually um, it has given kids that confidence and I think perhaps if we went on and continued the program later on I think we would see a more overall change, but um, having just had the one session, I, I still think it was a very positive experience. So you definitely, sort of sounds like you may want it to happen in the future, like sort of an annual? Yeah, I think so. Um, potential. We could talk about um, different perspectives to cover, so that it was different each year, maybe building up to post-school options and senior school. And um, I think leisure and recreation is a really important aspect, um, independent living, all those things I think if the students see someone who's experiencing and actually doing these things, it makes it more real. So yeah, I think definitely should be an ongoing program. Cool. Well, thank you. Thank you for answering my questions. What I did like is that we actually discussed about my future, what I want to do, what I want to actually become. Uh, what's important to me and dreams and wishes. My dreams and wishes would be to get married and yep. like also have a family and drive a car, get a job, yeah. working towards a career, maybe a veterinarian one day. Like knowing about 
what I want to do later on in life. To become a mechanic or a farmer. Yeah. That was probably the first time I've been able to be head facilitator. So I ran the day. But, um, so what we did with the kids was we concentrated on um, what, what their dreams and wishes were and what they wanted to achieve outside of school um, using a number of person-centered tools. And I think for me it was something very different uh, working with school kids. It's something that I've never experienced before. Um, like in the past I've just had experience with um, facilitating workshops for workers, so support workers or managers of both North Coast and external disability services as well. So going into high school um, and working with the kids and their teachers was like something that I really really enjoyed doing and it's something that I really want to look at um, expanding into within the future. And there was also a large number of um, students there that were, had autism, um, which was a completely new experience for all of us. Uh, but it was something that I think we did quite well and I really, really, really loved doing.